Yo, I'm Boss, you're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I've been mining for quite a while and I love mini mining rigs because it just makes mining more fun, more accessible. It makes these blockchains and cryptocurrency networks anti-fragile, which makes them more valuable. I've been pushing hard in this industry for years to make more mini miners as well as bringing some to market myself. So when Canon said, hey, Boss, We got a mini miner ready. You want to review it? <laughs> yeah, I do. 2.4 to 4 terahash a second with 10 OEM 4 nanometer chips with three different hashing modes, consuming no more than 140 watts of electricity in its highest power mode. Very quiet with a fan that never makes more than 36 decibels of noise. It's coming in at a weight of less than two pounds. The size of like, Maybe an iPhone Max or one of those nano iPad things. It runs under 100 Fahrenheit max temperature, and that's on the chip, so that's pretty cool as far as a mini mining rig for your home goes. It has Wi-Fi capabilities, yep, plug it in anywhere. Use any outlet around your house, as long as you got Wi-Fi reaching that area, this thing can start running the secure hashing algorithm 256, the Bitcoin BTC mining algorithm and you fiends wanted rgb well congratulations there's an rgb strip in here there's even a removable fan shroud but if that wasn't enough features for you how about coming in at a price point of 99 dollars less than 100 dollars to get a bitcoin mining rig that earns more than it burns in electricity i'm intrigued are you Right, the Canon Avalon Nano. Apple-ish unboxing experience there. We have the black one. Initial impressions, I, I like it, right? It's injection mold, rubber feet on the bottom to keep it secure. We see that USB-C type power. Two buttons, a little screen. I'm disappointed though to not see an ethernet port. To my surprise, <laughs> this is just a magnet. I don't know if I love that or find that weird. We see some big heat sinks sitting on those ASIC chips. So I received this box directly from Ken. It's not that big of a box. In that box, I also received this 65 watt power supply, as well as this 100 watt power supply. And then we've got this one. I'm surprised to see two different power supplies. More powerful one is like three times as heavy. I think it's kind of funny this brand almost has a Canon-esque <laughs> logo right there on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the big boy. USB-C connected. Got a plug over here, corner of my workbench. Hey okay, so now we got power. <laughs> we see our little RGB, it's adorable. Please connect the internet by Wi-Fi. I would really love an ethernet port, but don't have one. They have an app available on iOS as well as uh, Android. Please connect your iPhone Wi-Fi to Heater Nano and return to the app. Say no more. Heater Nano found instantly. Good. We're connected. Returning to the app. Searching for Wi-Fi. Did not find anything. Manually input my Wi-Fi information. Seems to have worked. Connecting back to my actual Wi-Fi. And now I've got control and access here into the device. It looks like we're on low because it's a darker color. Let's click medium. Looks like we've successfully changed to medium. Lights on, 
lights off. Let's go loop. Ah, oh, it doesn't fade the loop. Let's go breathing. So on the top, we can see it says 79 now. Heater controls on medium. Let's push it up to high. Let's go over to mining management. So here we can see that it automatically connects to brains. And their information is already in here. So I'm also on brains. Okay, I saved it. It says it would automatically restart. I instantly heard it cut off. I'm sure how audible that is here on, uh, on camera for you. One thing I noticed with this is that when it restarted, it, it went back to medium heat mode. We can see that it generated its IP address on, this is on DHCP, so, you know, just de whatever IP address uh, it wants to, basically, uniquely. It also has a readout of the current time. We can see the hash is at zero and the level is M, so it's the heat level medium. Let's click that button, see what happens. Nothing seemed to happen. Nothing seemed to happen again. Maybe it needs a little more time to boot up. It's not uncommon for miners to take 5, 10, 15, even 30 minutes to start sometimes, depending on the miner model and the mining algorithm. Oh, we can see hash right there. It's kind of cold in here, so this feels really nice. I'm surprised how much heat uh, that, it, that it does put out. This is the exhaust side. The fan is pushing air through it over these heat sinks. Uh, so, no heat anywhere else. Intake exhaust so I already had a brains mining pool account so I just put my information in however each Avalon Nano 3 comes with a QR code for registration uh, for a mining pool account the stratum URL of the brains pool including the username has been configured and will match your account automatically uh, per their documentation so basically they've tried to make using this miner easy mode but I've already got an account, so I'm just going to use the one I have. All right, I normally have 27 miners online in my Brains uh, dashboard uh, here on the Brains Bitcoin mining pool. Formerly Slush Pool, right? And is revered as the original Bitcoin mining pool. We go to my workers, and let's sort them by hash rate in the last hour. And the lowest one is the Nano. The Nano is here. It's already showed up on the Brains Mining Pool. So it hasn't been online for an hour, so the average hash rates there aren't really accurate. Uh, you can see the hash rate over the last five minutes is 2.8 terahash a second. And per the device, it is currently hashing at about 3.3 terahash a second. Again, this is just coming online. So I don't find that discrepancy odd or unusual. My initial impressions of the Canalon <laughs> Jeez, the Canon Avalon Miner Mano. This is cool. It's I'm a big proponent of mini miner, so I love to see a mini Bitcoin miner. Right? Is this going to be the most profitable Bitcoin miner in the world? I obviously not. Right? You're going to be spending five grand, four grand uh, right now on a latest generation full size Bitcoin miner and uh, you're gonna need 240 voltage. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be loud. You're gonna need dedicated electric uh, circuit. You're gonna need PDUs. You're gonna need the right power cables. You're gonna need ethernet, right? Those things still don't support Wi-Fi. Uh, you look at this, you get it, you set it up in two minutes and uh, you start mining Bitcoin. This is, the price point here is so low. That's an incredible thing in its own right, right? I mean, this is a sub $100 technically device. It's gonna plug into any outlet in anyone's home throughout the world. Uh, so the accessibility there is unparalleled, right? If, if I was in an office, granted we're kind of in the work from home era, I'd love to have one of these on my desk, right? Be like, yeah, yeah, Bitcoin. You Bitcoin? <laughs> oh, it's too bad. I'm out of Bitcoin right here. 
at my desk. Last time we saw something like this was the future bit. Uh, this device seems to be much better than the future bit out of the box. Uh, future bit couldn't meet demand. It was very expensive uh, for what it was. And the coolest thing about the future bit Apollos was the fact that it had a built-in Bitcoin node as well. But I had issues with my node on that device, so didn't really get to reap those rewards long term. And so it's the Canon Avalon Nano Mini Bitcoin Miner. Again, at a price point of $99 earning more than it's burning in electricity if your electric rate is less than 12 cents per kilowatt hour. It uses USB-C for the power, plugs into any outlet around the house and has Wi-Fi capabilities. At the surface, it's interesting. It has an app. The setup honestly took me two minutes. And while this Bitcoin miner may not be for everyone, especially hardcore Bitcoin miners, this actually applies to more people than the average full-size Bitcoin miner ever will. And there's a beauty in that. How's this thing gonna work long term? Well, if it's anything like my other Canon Avalon miners, it should be good. Uh, my, my Canon Avalon miners have been good miners, good devices um, in my experience mining Bitcoin. I hope to have kids sooner than later, but if I had kids, they would be getting these. Their price point is realistic, right? To buy your kid a $500 mini Bitcoin miner that's not that profitable, that will probably never even break even, is not realistic or feasible. Buying them a $99 Bitcoin miner that earns more than it burns in electricity is a lot more interesting and is a lot more palatable. It's also a fun device if you're big into crypto and you want to give it to your friends and family, right? You know, hey man, just, just, just try it out. Here, check this thing out. Uh, or, or maybe, you know, you got a nerdy friend, a techie friend, they like devices. Things like this are always interesting, at least to me. At the end of the day, this is supposed to be earning more than it's burning. And that's really all I can ask. The price point is low. Uh, the initial user experience here was good. And it has an interesting focus on the heating aspect. We can see the hash rate now as I've been talking has gone up to three tera hash a second. Uh, the level is still here on M. One thing I, I incredibly dislike about this uh, device and screen is it keeps showing me the logo and the name. I don't care. I know what it is. I know where it's from. You also have it embossed right here. Show me the data. I want to see the temperature. I want to see the hash rate. I'd rather see the little hashes coming down the screen. Uh, I, I'd rather see anything other than basically an ad. Uh, so I, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna turn this up to high. I don't think the included power supply is really rated to do the high mode because it says you should have 140 watt power supply max. And the power supply that I got with this says 100 watts. I clicked it over to high again on the app and it didn't go and it's hanging out at medium. I can only assume that these modes correlate to higher and lower hash rate, higher and lower power consumption, and thus higher and lower heat. What do you think about the Canon Avalon Miner Nano? Is this thing really cool? You gonna rush out there and grab one? You gonna support the channel by using the link in the video description below? Or do you see this as a novelty that doesn't apply to you? Does this seem like a pointless device to you? I think more people mining Bitcoin in every way, shape, size, and form across the world in different locations, making it more accessible, makes the network anti-fragile. It all adds value in my mind. So I like it. Obviously, I'm not going to buy a hundred of these. Let me know down in the comments below. You're on the Viscoin YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe. Check out all our other crazy crypto videos you know we do a lot of mining here at boscoin hq and i've spent a lot of the last year trying to build out and scale my own little bitcoin mining farm and on that note check out our cbo our chief bitcoin officer here at the boscoin youtube channel